Yes, Justin Trudeau has many different positions on the question uh, that you raised. Um, what he's done is very cynical. He's divided the country again. So he's, he gets a block of MPs to go out to mosques and say that Israel has committed a genocide. And then he gets another group of liberal MPs to go to synagogues and say that it's totally outrageous to suggest that Israel has created, it committed a genocide. And he then he, he sits in the middle of the two and gives incomprehensible statements. You would need, you would need a, a linguist with a PhD and a magnifying glass to figure out the garble that comes out of the foreign minister and the prime minister on this question because they're deliberately in, uh, giving answers that no one can comprehend. It, he's divided the country on this just like every other issue. The reality is there is a genocide being carried out by Hamas. I don't have to accuse Hamas of committing genocide. They admit it. They proudly brag about it. It's in their charter. They have announced that as soon as the conflict ends, if they're still in power, they will relaunch another October 7th style attack with the purpose of eliminating all Jews from the Middle East, and they frankly would love to, to eliminate Jews from the rest of the world. Th this is a genocidal, homicidal, sadistic death cult, and everything I have just said are things that Hamas admits to. So it's time for the Prime Minister to grow a backbone, stop trying to divide Canadians based on religion and ethnicity, and take a principled stand in favour of humanity and against the real, the real propagators of genocide who are the Hamas terrorists. MC News, Canadian Malayalikilude Vartha Jalakam.